Hi everyone, Trombo the Tornado here. Um, I won't mention any names or go into any specifics um, right now. I will say that much because I don't like hate on my channel. Um, and this isn't a rant at anyone in particular. Um, but this is a general message for everyone. And I know that the person who will this is about will be watching this and thinks that they I'm making a direct attack at them but this is just a general thing I really can't specify this enough uh, when I was younger I was bullied a lot and bullying can come in a lot of different forms I was assaulted I was verbally harassed and I was stalked um, this uh, person actually got a hold of my telephone number and was calling me and threatening me. Um, it was dealt with. Um, his father was actually really angry and didn't know he was doing this and really came down quite hard on him. Uh, the school also sorted it out and my mum. Um, I was very young at the time and I didn't really know how to handle it. Uh, so I told my mum, and this is what happened. But harassment and bullying of any sort is just a low and cowardly act. And words can hurt as much as, like, physical violence. Uh, sometimes, you know, they can push someone into depression and down quite a dark path. I know I, I suffered with depression for a long time, for years, and... Like, sometimes it still gets me. Life's getting good again, and life is great. And I'm not one to let this sort of thing get to me. Um, and, like, let it weigh heavily on my mind. But when someone willfully and deliberately starts bullying you over, like, decisions you make. I mean, I get sometimes a little bit of aggressive in this game i will i won't deny it i will uh, i say why didn't you do that or why didn't you do this and then like i immediately get over it and push on to the next game or if it's constantly like that then i throw in the towel hang up the game that's when the game stops being fun for you and that's when you should stop playing it even if you take like a couple of days off or a week off or uninstall the game entirely uh when the game stops being fun stop playing it um, but don't take out, like, your hurt on other people and direct, like, your anger towards them and say, you know, I will find out where you live, I will find out where you are, I know who you are, I know where you live. Well, you know, first of all, I'm a grown adult now. <laughs> um, second of all, like, even... Even by saying those things, it's pretty... You've got something pretty much going on with you. That's a you issue rather than a me issue. And, like, being older, I can identify that if someone's responding to a small jilt in that way, then there's something wrong with them uh, rather than wrong with me. Now, I'm not saying, you know, it's, it's something uh, that they're you know sick or anything like that i'm just saying it's a psychological thing and again it's we're wading through some murky water here but it's it's something that if you're flexing against someone that questions your behavior even a little bit like i i don't know how you'll carry on with like life uh, if it's like something a bit more major comes up if something major comes up then you're like you're you're acting out against someone that just does something very small then what happens when someone does something very big to you it's it's not it's not good behavior to have and like i say i don't like to post i'm not naming anyone i don't like to post hate on the channel um i had a good game with um this person i enjoyed this uh the fights we 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 had in game uh but when they well a, a few things happened and they split off and we got killed over and over again because we kept splitting off but um 
like then they then they're getting annoyed that we're not getting a win and maybe that prompted this but to threaten someone to cyber bully someone and to threaten to find their location and come for them sort of thing uh, even if it's just words is incredibly wrong and hurtful and you should really check yourself it's down to you to be your own policeman in your own head and in your own heart and that's something i firmly believe in like now and again i have to check myself because i'm thinking am i being the best person i can be have i come down on this person or that person too hard should i like and recently that's come up for me again um outside of gaming um i i came across a situation and i like this whole weekend i've been it's saturday now yesterday and today i've been thinking well should i have approached that differently and my conclusion has been the same yes i should i came down on that person too hard and i should approach how i dealt with that situation maybe slightly differently and i should like try and be a better person um for myself and for others so that's that's a me issue and as long as you can pick up on yourself and like self-assess and be like all right maybe i was in the wrong maybe i should back down and not be the sort of person that thinks in their head that they're constantly right and there's nothing wrong and there's it's them that's you know the problem not me it's not me it's them it's definitely them everyone's shouting at me and the world around me hates me but that's their problem i mean at that point you've got to look in and think well actually no maybe i should check myself how did I approach that situation? Should I have done things differently? And, you know, I think taking a step back and having a look at all the factors sometimes really helps in a situation. But, yeah, that's all I really have to say. Um, be good people. Don't give in to the darkness and temptation of hate. <coughs> and like I say... You'll never see me post a hateful stuff on my channel. I tried that way back in the when with Overwatch. I got annoyed. I posted a few videos. People came and like the channel like came into its own for a little while where like I was getting loads and loads of views. And then I realized all these people viewing the channel were filled with as much hate as I was. And I was just spreading hate and I, I couldn't stand it. I deleted all those videos, as many as I could find, and I'm sure there's some that still exist somewhere out there that I couldn't find, but I'm trying to be an actively better person. Uh, and if every day you can, like, even, like, when you think things don't go your way and it's it's not no one's fault in particular, it's 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 always important to, like, check yourself now and again take a step back and have a look and i look at myself and that situation i don't think that i said anything to instill that much hate however i do think that i was a bit bossy and a bit pushy over the mic uh a bit judgmental more than a bit of judgmental if i'm honest i have my set of beliefs about um training mode and doing like um what is it the firing range uh and i never i never like playing 1v1 and firing ranges because i really do believe it's a trap and that people will try and like say oh you know if you if you're not good in here you're not good in the game which there's an element of truth in that and there's an element of fiction in that but to go in there to basically kill someone over and over again and teabag them and say, oh, now I'm better than you because I've downed you a half a dozen times. It's not an accurate representation of the game as a whole because you don't get third party, you don't get, like, different terrain. You're told to start from a certain place. And, yeah, pe lo loads of people are better than me. I'm by no means a good Apex player. I'm alright. I do okay. I clear up well. I made Platinum once. I'd like to get back to Platinum. Um, my teammates haven't been great of late. 
However, that's also down to me not being a great teammate and not always knowing when, what to do and how to push. But, yeah, we just keep circling the drain and coming back to it. You don't... I That game, I was forceful, maybe a bit too forceful, but at no point did I swear at my teammates. At no point did I start yelling at them. Maybe I belittled them and made them feel small, and for that, I apologize. I just was trying to keep team cohesion by keeping us all together and by focusing on target. And Dio knows this um, as well. When when we play together, we, we he knows that I like to push and that I like to force, and sometimes he's got to tag along or sometimes vice versa. And I think that's why we make such a good team, because we give each other confidence and we push each other forward, but um, sometimes to our death, but we have a good time regardless. But someone that can't take that on the chin and will, like, fly off the handle at that is not... That's not a... I don't want to say that's not a human reaction, but it's it's not a healthy reaction. We'll say that. It's not a healthy reaction. To fly off the handle at basically nothing is not a healthy reaction. And it does push into the category of if something major did come up, how would you react to that? So, you know, it's... It's a way of life that people are like this and that you'll find someone like this in your day-to-day life. Um, But I think we all owe it to ourselves and even I owe it to myself to try and be better and to try and find happiness in happiness instead of hate. It's, It's so thick on YouTube at the moment. It's everywhere. People post like videos of Karen's videos of like arrests videos of look at this look at that so oh, doesn't it make you angry and yeah it does but that's not all there is to life we can't live in hate we have to live in hope and I hope that in the next few games things are going to get better uh, but I'm done with Apex for tonight I'm going to switch over to the division And we're going to play some nice games and help some people in there. And hopefully that will make me feel a bit better about myself. (laughs) So help another few people out at the same time, which is always what I'm about. Um, Live in hope, guys. Live in hope. And uh, have yourselves a lovely day. All the best.